A woman and her husband were sitting in a university chapel. The woman was pregnant, and the first time she ever felt her baby kick was when the solo singer hit the highest note in the song. That woman was my mother, and that baby was me. My name is Hannah Rachel, and I chose to do songwriting and music production for my senior project. Johnny Hale has been my mentor throughout this process. He's recorded six singles and one album. He has more than 20 years of playing, performing, and creating. He is so knowledgeable in music theory, I think he knows everything. <laughs> but he's also the director of music at Fort Benning, which is really interesting because he gets to schedule all of the music for the soldiers. Johnny and I have written songs together. We've recorded songs. Um, he's helped me design cover art. He's shown me how to edit. And he's also shown me what it means to be a good producer. In total, I have 97 hours. And 28 of those hours are mentor hours, and 69 are individual hours. And so this process has been so interesting because I have learned what it means to have this incorporated into your everyday life. And so this process has been so fun because I, I got to learn how to incorporate it into my life. And so these hours may seem like a lot, but it was so much fun for me. The goals that I had in phase one were to write every week and record every week which was really difficult because it's, this is something I've never done before. And so this process of the repetition and the perseverance that I had to have to get through it were really difficult at times. And I also had to design three samples of cover art, which I did, and I also had to submit one song, which was really terrible, <laughs> but I made it better in the end. The goals that I had in phase two were to finalize my album cover, which you'll see a little later, and I also had to record a lot. I think there were maybe five days over Christmas break that I spent six to eight hours recording every single day, and it was overwhelming at times, but I loved it. I also had to learn to mix and master, which was really interesting because it's something I'd never done before. And, um, and in music production, it's pretty much a man's world, and so learning to do it and being a woman has been so fun for me, just defying the odds. <laughs> and also, I had to showcase my work in an accredited venue, and I did that at my church on March the 3rd. The writing process has been so fun. There have been parts that I felt like I've been stuck, and there have been parts that have been super challenging, but I've also learned how to get through it. I've learned that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, and if I persevere, I will get the result that I want. Oh, and this is my journal. And on the inside, you might open it and you might say, where am I? Because I open it sometimes and I think, where am I? But it's been a really incredible tool to help me through this process. These are the tools that I use to record. So this right here is a connector that I use to mainly record piano parts. So I take this end right here and plug it into my iPad, and with the other end, I plug it into the piano. And with this one, this is called a one-channel interface, and what you do with it is it only records one track at a time. And so you can plug in your vocal or the guitar or the piano, and it will record just how you want it to be. This right here is another connector that I used to do the microphone and the guitar. So that was really interesting. And this one and this pop filter right here, this microphone, um, I used that mainly in phase one. But it was not a very good microphone, but my parents were really generous to get me this really nice SM57 microphone, which is there. I've learned a lot about editing. And with editing, the two main things I've learned about are compression and the buses and auxiliary synths. What compression does is it takes the highest dynamic sound in a song and the lowest dynamic song and it kind of equalizes it. 
So if you're listening to the radio and a song comes on and you're like, whoa, that's too loud, it's probably because enough, there wasn't enough compression that was used. And also I learned the buses and auxiliary synths. And those are mainly how the sound travels, which it was really cool because you can add different filters and different, uh, different types of things to make it sound different. I used two programs with this project, GarageBand and Logic. And so GarageBand was the program that you can see it right here, pulled up on my iPad, but it was the one that I used mainly for the duration of the project. So I recorded every single track on there and I did most of the editing in Logic on my mentor's laptop. This is my album cover and when I took this picture, I didn't know that the water that I'm standing in was part of the land that my family has grown up on and lived on for a hundred years. And so I knew that this, this picture was the perfect one for my album cover because it had, been, it had been lining up with everything that I had in mind for the songs and for the title home. And so these two over here are some samples that I did in the beginning, but those didn't turn out the way I wanted them to be. But I worked on this one for a long time and I got this result. This is the first recording I ever made. And you're gonna hear it and you're gonna think, wow, but it's going to be, a, there might be a little white noise in the background because I didn't use a microphone. And I, so I just recorded it straight from my iPad. And the song is called Awakening. And I wrote it one morning while the sun was rising and I was in my car and I was like, whoa, I love this lyrics. I'm gonna jot them down as soon as I stop my car. And so I remembered them and this is what came out of it.
three or four times, and the first two times I was like, no, no. <laughs> so this is coming. Oh, 